Okay, during this video, I'm going to talk about pitching your ideas, designing your marketing material. I have a lot of information here, so let's dive in. Okay, this is step six in my 10 step system that Andrew Krauss and I have developed in this first step, step number six. You want to pitch your idea. How do you do it? I'm going to show you some simple techniques to do this. So this is your marketing material to pitch your ideas. Okay, your marketing material does one big thing. It sells the benefit of your idea to your potential licensees customer. That's all it does. It's selling the big idea so they, they want to know more. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. Okay, the first piece of your marketing material to pitch your ideas is your sell sheet. It's very simple. It's a one page advertisement of your product or service. Also, another piece of your marketing material to pitch your ideas is your sizzle reel. This is going to be a one minute video that's going to highlight the magic, the benefit of your idea so people want it. Okay, sell sheets. Let's talk about sell sheets for just a minute. Very simply, a sell sheet is like a billboard that when you're driving down the freeway, you look up, you see it, you get it quickly. It's so important that you understand it so fast within seconds. It might be an ad that you look in a magazine or maybe something on the internet. When you see it, you go, hey, what is that? I want to learn more. So the point of your sell sheet, it needs to communicate within seconds. It needs to be short and concise where people understand it. Okay, the components of a sell sheet is really quite simple. At the very top, that's your unique selling proposition or your one sentence benefit statement. It's very simple. It's got to be at the top and it really brings emotionally the big benefit of your idea. Now in the middle, the biggest picture is going to be your beauty shot. That's your product. It needs to look good. If you don't have a prototype, you can always use a 3D computer generated rendering and it's going to be fine. Next, you're going to have features. There might be three, five, maybe four. Don't go too many. Down at the bottom will be your contact information. And those are the main components of a sell sheet. Now, realize you might have some, a little few, a, a couple other things that could be extra. You might have little pictures there telling the story. We call that a storybook sell sheet. But regardless, these elements are basically the same. Short, complete, simple, easy to understand within seconds. Okay, now we're going to talk about features versus benefits because people get really confused on this. All right, it's very simple. Features, that's your functionality of your product or service. Very, very simple. It's the functionality. What does it do? The benefits is why does anybody care? What are you doing for me? It's the big benefit of whatever those features are that makes my life easier, better, faster. I don't care what it is. So know the difference between features and benefits. All right, here's a great example of one of my products. It was a rotating label. The feature was that you could access information very quickly. What was the benefit of that feature? You could access information that's very important. And what is that information that's important? What's the big benefit? In this particular situation, that information will help you dose your child correctly by the, the weight of a child, not by the age of a child. So the feature, easy information, the benefit, dosing your child correctly. Let's talk about features. And I, I'm going to give you a, a very quick example of knowing the difference between features and benefits. Let's say I have a new hammer that allows you to work harder, faster, and you're more productive with my new hammer innovation. All right, that's the benefit. What are the features? It's got a soft grip so I can grab it and it doesn't put a lot of strain on my hand and on my shoulder. It's lightweight so it's easy to use. And Once again, it doesn't put all that strain on my body. It has a larger head so I can hit those nails straight every time so I'm not missing nails. Those are the features of the hammer. Lightweight, easy to grip, handle, larger head. What's the benefit of all those features of my new hammer? I can work longer and I'm more productive. All right, here's some additional notes. To do your sell sheet, whatever industry you're in, look at the competitors, look at their colors, look at their fonts. Try to match it up to how they look and feel. And I'll give you a good example. If I have a medical invention, I'm probably going to use some blues and whites. That, that represents health. So make sure you're looking at, the, at your competitors 
maybe even your potential licensees, look at their color, look at their colors, look at their fonts, look at the format, and try to make sure that your cell sheet kind of looks like theirs. All right, these sizzle videos, I love them. Make them short. I say one minute. The first 15 seconds show a problem. Next 45 seconds, show the solution. It's very simple. Problem, solution. If you want to see more of those type of one minute sizzle videos, look at the DRTV space, those as seen on TV products. I know they're sleazy, I know they're horrible, but the format is fantastic and you're gonna love it. So keep it short, keep it to the point, show the problem, show the solution, make it magical. Show that magic moment of the big benefit of why people care. Now, also realize, make sure whoever's doing it, you might have a voiceover, have a couple different angles when you're shooting it, make sure the lighting is great, make sure everything looks good, but show the magic. That's the most important part on your sizzle video. So here's a video of one of our students, Tim Brennan, I love this video. It's very simple. It's going to show you the first prototype of the multi-grip mandolin. When chopping vegetables with a mandolin slicer, some veggies are just too large for the handguard. Others are too soft. And cutting lengthways means lots of stopping and starting. Because of this, people ditch the handguard to get a better grip. But with zero protection, nasty mandolin injuries are far too common. Introducing Safe Slice, the mandolin that keeps your fingers safe. The secret is in the patent pending handguard that adapts to any size and shape of vegetable. Simply wrap around and you're good to go. Safe Slice gives you an intuitive direct grip of your vegetables as you slice. Even the most awkward sizes and shapes can be gripped with ease and safety. When you need to cut lengthways, the handguard transforms to give you a rock solid grip with no stopping and starting. Safe Slice, the mandolin that keeps your fingers safe. The next video, when he licensed it to Joseph, Joseph, see how they took his essence of his product, it almost looked pretty much the same, even no sound now of someone speaking they did it with 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 um, copy that's really powerful but look what they did they took his and they created this commercial from it because it shows a problem and the solution There's a few phrases you do not want to put in your marketing material, such as, if we only capture 2% of the market, we're going to sell millions. Or, hey, I've got this huge idea that's going to sell bazillions. Don't put that type of information in there. It's a red flag. You don't know what you're doing. The other elements of a sell sheet, make sure your contact information is down below. Also, if you have filed intellectual property, such as a provisional patent application, put patent pending on there, make it small. But if you have not filed intellectual property, if you have not filed a PPA or a non-provisional patent application, don't put patent pending. It's against the law. All right, so how do you test if your marketing material is doing the work you want it to do? Show it to a friend, don't tell them what it is, and see if they get it. If they don't get it within seconds, you need to redo it, you need to retweak it. One final note here, before you show anybody your marketing material, make sure you file the correct intellectual property. And sometimes you can show in a video or even your sell sheet the product, but not disclosing intellectual property. So be careful that you're not doing anything where you're going to lose potential intellectual property rights. Okay, that's it. I gave you a very quick video on how to pitch your ideas to companies your marketing material could be a sizzle video, it could be a one-page sell sheet, which is a one-page advertisement of your product idea. Subscribe down below. This is Stephen Key. Please tell your friends. Fantastic. 
See you next time.